Uh, uncertainty has been the economic word of the week. So did Ken Feinberg's words today. Clear up the compensation picture or only make it more confusing to the nation's banks. Well, joining us now is Jeannie Branover, Managing Director of Boyden Global Executive Search. For 25 years, Jeannie has handled executive placement for some of the world's largest financial companies. Jeannie, great to have you back on the show. Good to be here. So where do we stand as far as executive compensation? What are you seeing there on the ground? Do today's comments from Mr. Feinberg First question here, clear or muddy the waters as far as what banks should pay their employees? I think it actually clears it. And in some ways, what he said is going to help some banks out as far as making some changes in their policies that is going to look like Feinberg is the reason they're doing it versus themselves. So when he's talking about really, you know, limiting in the future that a crisis could happen again where the cash is paid out in bonuses, he wants them to put in their contracts that if a company says, the board says, we're in a crisis situation, that they can not pay out what they promised in the past that they would pay out. And I think that's going to be adopted. And as far as the workers you're placing, are they pretty accommodating to this sort of new culture they're entering into? Um, are they accommodating? I think people realize that there's going to be a lot of change around compensation, which has already happened in the last year more than ever before. And are people happy about it? I think they're concerned that there's going to be so much change that can they afford to live if there aren't additional monies in the future. So that's why base salaries have gone up at this point. And, you know, we've been talking about this for months already. So how is it all kind of unfolded from here? I mean, are you seeing more traffic, more changeover in positions and companies hiring than before still? Is, would you say you've seen the most of it or is it still sort of snowballing here? You know, for a year, we saw very little when, you know, firing was taking place. In the last few months, it has been unbelievably more active and in the last two months really active and that's really because at first it was strictly either replacement hiring or hiring just because of the crisis as far as you know really looking at risk management and things like that now you're really seeing much more hiring happening and that's expanding not just replacement and what positions are in most demand right now right now the most demand at first we saw these risk jobs that were being taken over and now what we're seeing is really in the financial sector CFOs controllers really making sure that everything is up and up because it's going to be so accountable but now it's about who's getting revenue who's making revenue who's going to make a difference for a company immediately. So it's business development, salespeople, and really looking at the customer. We have to differentiate ourselves to make sure the customer is happy. Generally speaking, how difficult is it to, if you must, retrain yourself into some of these positions you're describing? It's not easy, but I think if people really recognize what's being hired, they can change their resumes, they can change their direction. So sales is something that is really, really the number one criteria for most companies. So if you have been in relationship management, if you're good with people, if you're someone that really understands computers for call centers, it's really something that's going to be continuing growing, and that's where you should really be selling yourself. Let's drill down on comp, our actual dollars here. Are you seeing pay scale differences between those companies that took the TARP money versus companies, independent companies and whatnot, or just banks that didn't have any? You know, what, what is amazing across the board is we are seeing, number one, compensation good packages being given for people to move. But what we're seeing is across the board, whether TARP or not TARP, big good offers are being made for fabulous people. So for human capital that are incredibly talented, they're still getting big offers, they're making moves, they're getting guarantees, and they are getting what they need to get to make the move. So this 9.5% unemployment picture across the United States does not seem to be applicable. You're shaking your head to your industry. You know, it, it was. I mean, it was terrible in our industry a year ago. In the last couple of months, not only are people being rehired, but the really top people are employed and they're moving companies and they're employed while they're moving companies. So we're really seeing a war for talent be really big again. All right, Jeannie Branover, thank you so much. Jeannie runs Boyden Global Executive Search. Again, grateful for your time. Have a terrific weekend.